Welcome to the day of Venom Smack Bros. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Tally, welcome to the sixth episode of Self Revolution the Strength Series. Now, if you're new to my page, please check out the other other videos I have to get a little bit of context about who I am, and I'll link that here so you can check out the intro to my channel as well as some of my other videos. So this week you're seeing a little bit of footage from my Thanksgiving meal, which I really really enjoyed. It was really great to be able to hang out with my family and talk to them as well as my boyfriend's family. I actually went home for the weekend and spent some time with my mom, my dad, my boyfriend's family. Um, I didn't get to train on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, so I didn't actually have access to a gym when I was home or when I was with my boyfriend's family. And honestly, you guys, holidays don't happen that often. If you're not in the prep, if, you're, if you don't have a photo shoot or anything coming up, it's not a huge deal to take a few days off. If you guys trained, good for you. If you didn't, good for you too. Whatever works for you, make sure you're finding a balance in your life. On Thursday, I didn't track any of my macros. I kind of ate a little less in the mornings. I still ate. Uh, meals, but they were slightly smaller, but I really saved saved up quite a bit of room for two dinners because I had one at my mom's and one at my dad. I tried to make sure that I'm getting protein in, so I was I, I did have a Quest bar. I had a um, I had plenty of turkey. It, it's a holiday. You, it's meant to be enjoyed with your family, and that's what I did, and I feel no shame for it. As long as I'm being calorie conscious and not just binging and. As long as I'm eating mindfully, that was okay. But I didn't train, I didn't count my macros, I didn't weigh myself. You guys can take a break. And actually, the week after that, I had some really, really killer workouts. I had some PRs, I felt like I could squat heavier. I was just so much more motivated again. So it is okay to take a break if you need it. If you came in on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to the gym, good for you. Make sure that you're finding balance and find something that works well for you. So I didn't track my macros or weigh anything on Thanksgiving. I also didn't do anything on Friday because it was a really hectic day, it was Black Friday, we did, we did do a little bit of shopping at Fred Meyer, and I got a new camera, which I'm super excited about because before, I was renting one from my school and that was just kind of a, that was a hassle because I had to check it out, check it in, check it out, check it in, and now I get my own camera. It's a Canon EOS Rebel T3i, and I have a new pancake lens on it, and I'm so excited for you guys because it means better quality for you guys. But I typically weigh myself every day. I'll make another video about that, about whether that's right for you, but I do weigh myself every day, and I track that in my fitness pal, which you guys can follow me on. I'll link that below so you can follow me and see what I'm eating on a day-to-day -day basis. But just so you guys know, my average weigh-in this week was 143.25 pounds. Also, I'm super excited because it's after Christmas, which means Christmas lights, what? And this lens makes them look great, which is totally fantastic. And gingerbread houses, and you can see reindeer antlers, other fun Christmassy things over there. So for the month of December, anytime I'm getting footage for you guys um, of myself training in the gym, it's going to be something fun and holiday oriented. I'm definitely going to be doing some stuff in the Rudolph antlers. I'm definitely going to be putting on some like weird jingle bell earrings as I'm benching or crazy Christmas socks because I love the holidays. It's my favorite time of year and why not? So this week I want to hear from you guys. I know it's a few weeks late, but I want to hear what you guys did for Thanksgiving. Did you count your macros that weekend? Did you train? How was your Thanksgiving? How did you spend your holidays? And how do you balance enjoying the holidays with working towards your personal goals? Let me know in the comments below and let's get started. So this is actually my last workout before Thanksgiving break. So this is a Wednesday workout. I did chest and triceps and a little bit of shoulder work because I was going to miss my shoulder day on Fridays. We typically incorporate a lot of shoulders. But here I'm doing a 4x8 of bench press. I was doing 5x5 five five for a few months, but I really saw a plateau. I wasn't really seeing many strength gains. Um, I felt like I was stuck, so I decided to switch it up a little bit um, and do some 4x8s for, for a couple of weeks. I uh, started off with 85 pounds, bumped up to 90 in the second set, and then the, the third and fourth set I'm actually doing 95 pounds with. Um, and I'm really excited, you guys, because you get to watch me fail out on the last rep of my last set. And I know that sounds really crazy, like why would you show that on YouTube? Why would you want anybody to see you fail out? Uh, but it was exciting for me, it, it is exciting for me to fail because, uh, I mean it sucks that you don't, you don't hit that weight, it sucks that you fail. But at the same time, it's really great because when you fail out, you know you've pushed yourself to the limit. So you know where your limit is, so you know how much you need to push past. You know where the bar is, so you know you can set it higher. And that's really exciting for me because um, hitting this point meant, okay, next time I have to break past this. So 
Um, anyway, on this last set, I'm actually going to fail out. And what I'm going to do, uh, because once I actually realize that I'm not going to be able to push it up, I'm not going to push it back over my head and try to re-rack it. I actually roll it off my body and drop it on the floor in front of me. And yeah, it gets it. people look at you funny a little bit, but it's honestly a lot less risky than trying to put it back on the rack. Um, for a while, that's what I did when I failed out. I would try to... Um, put it back on the on the lowest on the lowest bars of that rack but that is a huge risk because you never know if you're actually going to be able to re-rack it if it's going to fall if something's going to go wrong you might get smashed right under that bar and have that stuck on your face and that did happen to me one time when I didn't have a spotter last year uh, when I was uh, re-racking it back on the lower bar um, I actually the bar fell on the side of my head um, and it was really really uncomfortable and uh, hurt and was really shocking so I learned to push it down instead and you guys learn to fail I'm actually for my squats kind of off topic here but for my squats I'm actually practicing failing out because you need to know where the where the limit is so you can push yourself to it and eventually push yourself past it if that makes any sense anyway here I'm doing some tricep push downs right before that I was actually doing underhand grip pull downs um, for a few sets and I'm doing a doing push downs here and something that's actually really been helping me in both triceps and shoulders and really any sort of isolating movement um, so even bicep curls um, is actually thinking about shifting my weight back onto my heels instead of moving forward I notice that I tend to as I get fatigued I really really start drifting forward and relying on a, a bit more momentum so really thinking about staying back on my heels and here I'm doing some lateral raises and thinking about the exact same thing staying back on my heels uh, try it out guys next time that you're doing any sort of isolating movement and let me know how it goes um, anyway so for shoulder exercises uh, two things I like to think about is raising the weights with my elbows instead of my hands and also having good posture standing with good posture standing with your weight back on your heels with your shoulders uh, shoulder blades pinched with your back straight with your head up um, because uh, first of all so uh, raising things raising the weights with your elbows instead of your hands if you think about just bringing your hands up you might be using different body parts you might be swinging or getting momentum or using your biceps more than you need to or your triceps more than you need to uh, but when you think about bringing your shoulders up and actually pushing them up higher uh, sorry push uh, bringing your elbows up and pushing them up higher than your shoulders you're really able to better engage your shoulders and really isolate them and feel that burn there um, another and the other thing I was talking about is practicing good posture while you are lifting now it, form follows function so if you're gonna be lifting hunched over with your head down with your with your uh, back not pinched with really crappy posture that's kind of what your form is gonna look like when you're walking around that's when your po it'll translate into uh, poor posture in day-to-day -day life and then your shoulders or your muscles might not develop in quite the way that you want them to they might not de develop in a way that makes you look best um, sorry kind of flexing around here because that was really good lighting but definitely keep that in mind guys so shift your weight back and have good posture shift uh, pinch your shoulder blade, blades up and imagine that you're actually doing this in front of a camera and you're trying to impress someone so that way you can train your muscles to follow that function and to have good form. You guys know it's really stupid not re-racking your weights in the right place? Please re-rack your weights. This is ridiculous. If you could pick the 55 up and curl it or do whatever with it, you can put it back in the right place. This is obviously not the place for it. Clean your it up. Little trip to the convenience store right downstairs. Pretty indicative of a typical <laughs> grocery run for me. Airborne because I'm sick. Some Hershey Kisses, which are basically my favorite sort of like little dessert. Builder bars, MetaRx protein power bars. They're kind of higher in fats and carbs. And my favorite Special K protein bars. So one of the classes I'm taking this quarter is actually product marketing. One of our assignments was to actually write about a successful product launch in the last five years. And so I talked about Quest Bars and Quest Nutrition. Um, basically I just wrote a thousand word essay about how successful Quest has been uh, due to its product and its promotion strategies. And I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Quest. Thank you for providing me with not only an awesome product, but a great topic to write about for my marketing class. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't yet, please hit like and subscribe for me, leave any comments below, and as always, don't stop growing.